Hi, my name is Asha Gomez. Welcome to my video series where we blend the flavors of India into a southern kitchen. I hope you enjoy this collection that we have put together for you. Hi, my name is Asha Gomez. Welcome to my kitchen. Today we're going to make roasted butternut squash with a creamed coconut sauce. The creamed coconut sauce is optional. I think it is just delicious on its own. But I'm just going to show you a sauce that you can make on the side that's really quick and simple that you could use if you'd like on the side of it. Once again, fall's creeping in on us. All these squashes are coming out. I like to get the smaller ones when I'm doing this. So I have two small butternut squash. And you know, if you've not, if you're not used to cutting them, it can be a little tough. So be careful when you're cutting them, please. I want you to just go right down the middle. Should have taken the stem off right there. And cut it in half like that. And do the same thing with this one. This is probably one of my favorite fall vegetables is butternut squash. I love making butternut squash soup. And just roasting butternut. There we go. All right, so then you want to take the seeds out. Go ahead and use a spoon to scoop out the seeds. There we go. Once you take the seeds out, <clears throat> you're going to take your knife and you're going to score your butternut squash. So I like to make a really pretty pattern because it looks really beautiful when it comes out of the oven. So I go down and I go rather deep, okay, like this on the neck of the butternut squash. Can you see me? And when you see the image of it, when it's done, you'll see exactly what it is I did. Just make that really pretty pattern on it. Do that on all of your squashes. You know, this is a meal in itself. And you could just eat it with some sour cream on the side if you don't want to do the coconut cream. Be careful when you do this. Okay. I have a sheet pan here lined with some parchment paper, ready to go. I also have my oven at 400 degrees. So this is how we're gonna prep it. First, let's get our cardamom pots in the mortar and pestle. And once you do that, you can take out the, the outer shell of the cardamom. You don't have to throw it out because the, the, the skin has so much flavor too. Um, I like to save it and when I'm making chai, I'll put it into my chai mixture because it gives that beautiful cardamom flavor and you're straining it out so you don't have to actually, you know, um, feel that on your palate which is why I don't use it in this because I don't want this uh, kind of rather coarse skin to be part of this dish. I'm just going to powder that a little bit. So then this is how I'm going to get my butternut squash ready. I'm going to take some of my melted butter and brush it nicely, especially on the necks. Okay, set that aside. I'm going to go ahead and take my cardamom that I just crushed. Now if you have powdered cardamom, feel free to use that. I like to grind my spices fresh, so 
just have a little bit different approach to how I do my spices. <clears throat> and then grate your fresh nutmeg. And be generous with the nutmeg, okay? Oh, the aroma. Oh my gosh. That's the thing about grinding spices fresh. You cannot get this scent if you're gonna buy bottled powdered spice. You just can't, it just, it, it's not possible. You use so much less spice grinding the spice yourself than you would if you were using already pre-bottled ground spice because it doesn't have the potency. Okay, I'm gonna set that aside for just one second. And I'm gonna take a tablespoon of butter for each one, okay? A tablespoon of butter for each one, yes. It's rich, it's fall, it's the winter. You can have some butter. And put it right in the center there. Okay, and I'm gonna do a nice drizzle of honey on it. I just have a fork. I mean, how can this not be delicious? It's cardamom, nutmeg, butternut squash, honey. My gosh. Okay. Now I do like to use an herb on this, <clears throat> and I like to use fresh thyme. <clears throat> so I'm gonna take a couple of sprigs of fresh thyme and just kind of let that permeate through and we're gonna add some salt so I have some pink Himalayan salt here feel free to use kosher salt or whatever salt you're comfortable with generous on the salt I mean look at it so my oven's at 400 degrees. I'm just gonna go ahead and put it in there, probably for a good 25 minutes. And then we'll come back and take a look at it. So we're gonna go ahead and pull our butternut squash out of the oven. So you know, it really depends on the size of the butternut squash you're gonna use as to how long you're gonna have to keep it in there. You might use a bigger butternut squash um, and it might go for almost an hour. What you need to know is that when you put a fork in it, it should go right through and it should be fork tender. So now I'm gonna show you, it's gonna be delicious on its own, but I'm gonna show you a quick sauce that you can make with just a little bit of coconut oil. So we'll take about a tablespoon of coconut oil, a couple of mustard seeds, And some, I would say about um, half a cup of coconut milk, a little bit of turmeric, salt to taste, and bring it all together. And as soon as that comes to a quick boil, we can use that as a sauce for our butternut squash. All right, so our coconut milk has come to a nice little boil. I'm gonna turn it off. And you can literally, it's hot, hot. And this is optional, right? You can use a couple of these. I'm only gonna put it on two because somebody may not want it. And then you can just keep a jug of this on the side 
and um, people can use it as they need it. How gorgeous is that dish? I hope you make this dish in your kitchen this fall and I hope it's a dish that you repeat time and again. Happy cooking.